club moist isn't... Am I crazy? <gasps> crazy for feeling this way. Moist. About you. Have you ever listened to a song which you first thought was pretty good? It was nice and little, you know? But for some strange, inexplainable reason, you spend all day just thinking about it, however. While you're on the bus, while you're at school, work, or crime meeting. You think about it while you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and while you binge watch All Hail King Julian. And then at 3.29am, when you're fast asleep, it hits you. I Love Your Toes is one of the greatest pieces of media ever written, and I mean ever. <coughs> this one and a half minute song where Mort the Lemur talks about his love for King Julian's feet and how it goes beyond imaginable is no joke one of the best things that I've ever seen, heard, and memed in my entire life. It is a banger. And so, um, yeah, this video is basically where I go feet first into all hail King Julian's I Love Your Toes and how it is completely, entirely, fully, definitely, and unironically a phenomenal piece of art that everyone, and I mean everyone, should get to experience. Let's do this. Your week make me feet When the Beatles and sings After to see part In my tiny spot Make me sing and shout So I can jump up so for those of you who don't already know, which you should, Mort is a character from the Madagascar franchise and is, well, the Grim Reaper, essentially. Before I carry on, go and watch the Theorizer's Mort theories, I would explain a little bit more but we don't have 6 hours, so just watch his 6 hours worth of Mort and Drewick's theories and that'll get you up to date. So now that we got that out of the way, Mort is literally my favourite character in all of cinema. I really mean that. He's voiced by the always amazing Andy Richer. He easily deserved an Annie, Emmy, heck a freaking Academy Award for his voice as Mort. Even though he didn't get one. Because he's boss the Academy. But this seems like a lot of non I Love Your Toes talk, so yeah, the song literally slaps so hard in every single way. But I don't want to talk about that just yet, because that segment of the video might take a while. So let's just talk about how this song fits into the narrative of its episode and why it's surprisingly crucial to the story. So in this episode, The Phantom of Club Moist, King Julian has a midlife crisis when he finds out that he has no legacy. So straight after Maurice suggests that he should open up a hospital, bada bing, bada boom. Julian decides to get the visionary idea to open up a nightclub called Club Moist. They immediately pick out a spot and begin auditioning lemurs, but none of them were exactly moist enough. Julian is about to give up on his dream and potential legacy when this happens. <laughs> This voice that Julian described as being two angels rubbing their vocal cords together. This was voiced. Mort is renamed to Pork because why not? And then the club officially opens. Everyone from around the kingdom comes to hear Pork's song, the song that King Julian himself approved. I love your toes. This stuff carries on for a while until this weird dude that calls himself the Phantom of Club Moist comes and kidnaps Mort. This makes King Julian very angry that Mort wasn't there that night. So this Karen called Tammy comes along and forces her clearly possessed son, Todd, up on the stage. He pulls a top hat out of thin air and begins singing only to get freaking crushed by a giant boulder that just came out of nowhere. And then upon hearing that everyone had cancelled their reservations to the club, Julian gives up on his dream. Ha, psych! Julian clearly had something to drink beforehand because now he's going on about the club coming back bigger than ever. Maurice picks up on this and tells Clover to train Julian, but Julian tells them to save that for the after party. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. What's gonna happen at the after party? I think that this show's on steroids or something. I don't know. Oh man, the writers are mental. So anyways, Gigi, the toucan and news reporter, gets all of the reservations back. And then ya da 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 Julian gets captured by the Phantom. Uh, who are you? Isn't it obvious, Julian? Ah. Uh. Recognize me now! Clover, Maurice, and even Mort save him because Mort memorized where the Phantom lived, and then Julian realizes that he should shut down the club because of copyright issues with Rick Astley. The Phantom! Sorry, the Phantom. And so then he decides to open up a hospital so that my boy Todd won't die. Let's go! If Mort didn't sing that song, then Julian never would have been able to find someone moist enough to be the main attraction of the club. But even still, this song keeps the plot moving as it is. Since this song exists, Julian picked Mort as the main attraction for the club. And since Mort got kidnapped, Julian realizes that he should open up a hospital for Todd and all of the other sick lemurs or whatever. 
This is a hospital that is shown many times throughout the rest of the show, and if we didn't get this masterpiece of a song, then we wouldn't have gotten the hospital stuff, which provided some really funny moments, might I add. Say, speaking of the word masterpiece, let's talk about that. I Love Your Toes is a song that has some extremely weird lyrics. I mean, here are some of the lines. You're haunting my dreams, tearing my heart at the seams, and I shut my eyes and barely sleep because your hairy feet make my heart leap. You, you, you do still remember that he's talking about King Julian's feet, right? I, how is this show PG rated? The song as a whole, though, just has got a sense of charm to it. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just because of the absolutely perfect blend of the Grim Reaper talking about his fetish and the music from the Roaring Twenties. It's so good, and I don't even know what else there is to say, man. It's just so great. Go and listen to I Love Your Toes right now. Goodbye!